We've got a brand new Marvel Spider-Man 2 patch update, along with some developers talking about Silk's future, and the major sales high reached, which will positively affect Insomniac Games and the future of single player games on PlayStation. If you like Marvel Spider-Man 2, please go ahead and subscribe and leave a like on the video. Let's get started with this patch update, which is the patch update 1.001005. There are tons of fixes in this patch update, which I'll leave on the screen. And some of the big ones is when MJ could be defeated in one hit on a higher difficulty setting. Address multiple issues where hiding the HUD would cause some missions to fail to trigger. Address issues where players could become stuck in the finale of Marco's memories. Address an issue where the player could lose the ability to jump. Address an issue where the game wouldn't load properly after being defeated by a boss. Address an issue where the hang 10 trophy would not count flips accurately and this one actually happened to me too. Address an issue where inputs would not register after grabbing a memory crystal, another one that happened to me too. Address an issue where models would not load properly after long play sessions and I think this is the one where the actual Spider-Man had an invisible visible body. I know a lot of people in that final sequence of the game. In that last cutscene, Marl's body became invisible. Addressed an issue where the player character could leave a mission and enter the open world resulting in corrupted save and also improve some stability. Now that final fix actually leads us on to the next point which is they've patched out Venom free roaming in Marvel Spider-Man 2. Now I know this is a glitch and it shouldn't be possible but the fact that it was possible I think they should have kind of somehow left it in the game. I think it's a fun little thing that players could do. I think some players also glitched the fact that you can do it with MJ and the younger version of Peter Parker and go free roaming with them but I know for a fact that people are very angry that the Venom free roam glitch has been now patched out. Now Venom couldn't swing on buildings or climb buildings or fight enemies during his free roam. It was literally just running around the city. However this was a glitch and it shouldn't have been possible in the game anyway but maybe they wanted to take it out because of course they are working on a Venom single player game. So if you did do the Venom free roam glitch and you did enjoy it, don't worry because hopefully the Venom spin-off game will be coming very soon and it's probably another reason why Insomniac don't want you to be doing this glitch right now. So now let's see what some Marvel Spider-Man Tomb team members teased about the future of Silk in the Insomniac timeline. During a Gizmodo interview, Insomniac Games narrative director Ben Arfman and advanced writer Brittany Morris teased what fans might expect from the game Cindy Moon i.e. Silk reveal and how she may factor into the Insomniac Spider-Man timeline. Cindy's always been a really compelling character in the comics who, similar to Spider-Man 1's Martin Lee, hasn't really gotten a ton of exposure outside of the immediate fan base. There's something really exciting about taking a character who we love, who we who not everybody has had a chance to meet, and exposing her to a wider audience, Offman said. Morris then described herself as so excited to see what we do with Cindy with Offman adding, figuring out who Insomniac Cindy Moon is, is a really exciting challenge. And we also have this interesting complication that Cindy's dad, Albert, is dating Miles' mom, Rio, and we're thrilled to explore how that creates a new iteration of this character that folks already love. So straight away, I think the immediate relationship between Miles and Cindy is going to be that of a brother and sister relationship. Also, just like they said, it's going to be Insomniac's iteration of Cindy Moon, and I'm sure they're going to keep the core of the character very much the same. However, there must be some differences between this version and the one of the comics. Also, I wonder when are we going to really start the Cindy Moon storyline? Will it be in the Spider-Man 2 DLC, or will it be in a Marvel spin-off game, or will it actually begin in Marvel Spider-Man 3? Let me know in the comment section below, when do you think it will be the best time to start it? I do think it should be in a Marvel Spider-Man 2 DLC, and then continue in a Miles second part game, and have her then playable in Marvel Spider-Man 3. Let me know in the comment section when do you think will be the best time to show off Cindy Moon and when do you think she will be playable. Also right now we've got Black Friday deals coming into fruition and the most notable one for us right now is buying a brand new PS5 you get Spider-Man 2 absolutely free. It seems like these bundles are being sold for $499 with Spider-Man 2 included and these bundles will be starting on November 10th. Now this is in the US but I'm sure that in the UK and other countries across the world will see similar deals like this. 
Also, the fact that in the holiday season, we are going to be getting the brand new PlayStation 5 Slim. This will probably have similar bundles during Christmas time, and you'll probably be able to get the same deal, but with the new PlayStation 5. However, I do want to mention that this PlayStation 5 and the one that's going to be coming out in the holiday season are not really different in terms of power or graphics. It's literally just the size and weight of the console that is different. Also, big news in terms of sales with Marvel Spider-Man 2, it has now crossed 5 million sales in 10 days. Now, this this is great news not only for Insomniac Games but for all of us who love single player games on PlayStation. This shows Sony that single player games sell really well especially when they're done right. Not only that but this year we really saw that PlayStation is going more into the direction of live service games and this was likely to change due to the departure of Jim Ryan. However with the sales of Marvel Spider-Man 2 being as amazing as they are it's likely going to keep Sony in check for a little bit longer and really appreciate their value in single player games. Now expect more live service games to come to PlayStation 5. However, it seems like there was 12 live service games in production over at PlayStation Studios. And at this year's PlayStation Showcase, it was unfortunate to see that majority of the titles were live service games and they hardly showcased any single player games. As of right now, we don't really know what's going to be coming to PlayStation 5 in 2024. Yes, there are rumors that Marvel's Wolverine, which we are going to make a separate video about, is coming to PlayStation 5 in 2024 however that could be delayed into 2025. Over the last couple of years it seems like we've been getting one massive PlayStation Studios title surrounded by some exclusive third party titles. However 2024 could be very different in us having only third party exclusive titles and we could potentially be getting no PlayStation Studio blockbusters. However instead in 2024 we could be getting that God of War Ragnarok spin-off game alongside Marvel Spider-Man 2 DLC and this could obviously be surrounded by some third party exclusive titles for 2024. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Marvel Spider-Man 2 has really put Sony in a good position and put us in a good position when it comes to single player titles. It shows them not to abandon the single player approach and not go all in with live service games and to keep delivering these monumental blockbuster experiences especially on the brand new PlayStation 5. I was a bit worried after this year's showcase but I think Marvel Spider-Man 2 has and will keep Sony in line. But guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you want some more Marvel Spider-Man 2 updates, go ahead and check out my previous Marvel Spider-Man 2 videos and we go really in depth when talking about Marvel Spider-Man 3 because creative director Brian Interhar has given us so much information on Marvel Spider-Man 3. So go ahead and check out those videos. I'll leave some of them in the description and pinned comment section below, but you can go ahead and browse my channel too. I'm also working on a Patreon with exclusive videos and I'm also working on a Marvel's Wolverine and Venom spin-off game video which hopefully will be out soon. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Peace out, God bless, and I'll see you in my next videos. Take care, guys. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign, a sign. I feel like I'm losing my mind.